friends, is it time? Can it be? Yes, it's time for MKids to begin. Are you ready? Are you excited? Say yes. Yes, I am also very excited. Am I ready? Oh, are you ready? Okay, yes, let's begin. Yeah. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is in there, but it's not exactly the story that I know. This is actually about one dwarf. His name is Grumpy. Poor old Grumpy. He has so many things to be grumpy about. He came home late and his family didn't leave him any food. Stinky breaks wings the whole time. Sniffle sniffs all the time. Snow White made a delicious cake, but it has cherries on it, and he doesn't like cherries. I don't know about you, but I would also have been grumpy if I were grumpy. Did you know that God made you to feel, and that we are allowed to get angry? You can be angry if things don't go, if things go wrong, or if someone is mean to you. But, like in this story, you have to find a way to handle your anger so that you don't do mean things. Will you play along while we have a look what is good way to handle your anger? Say yes every time it's a good way and no when it isn't. So is this a good or a bad way? Shout. No. no. Hit someone. Slowly count to 10. Yes. Take a few deep breaths. Yes. Throw something. No. 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 Go talk to someone about what made you angry. Yes. Go and play outside or do exercise. Yes. Say something mean about the person who made you angry? No, no. Tell Jesus about what made you angry. Yes. Pause the video and tell one another what the five good things we just mentioned to each other that will help you to handle your anger in a good way and not do anything mean. Draw a spider diagram about it. Look, something like this. Now you can carry on watching. Can you believe the Bible tells us about someone who didn't handle his anger the right way and ended up in big trouble? Let's listen to the scripture together. Abel was a herdsman and Cain a farmer. Time passed. Cain brought an offering to God from the produce of his farm. Abel also brought an offering, but from the firstborn animals of his herd, choice cuts of meat. God liked Abel and his offering, but Cain and his offering didn't get his approval. Cain lost his temper and went into a sulk. God spoke to Cain, why this tantrum? Why this sulking? If you do well, won't you be accepted? And if you don't do well, sin is lying in wait for you, ready to pounce. It's out to get you. You've got to master it. Cain had words with his brother. They were out in the field. Cain came at Abel, his brother, and killed him. God said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, How should I know? Am I his babysitter? God said, What have you done? Hi, friends. You know God created everything, right? We read about it in the Old Testament, in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. He also created Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden with God. They had one tree which fruit they shouldn't have eaten from, but then they were naughty. They didn't listen to God. God forgave them, but they didn't live in the Garden of Eden anymore. 
God was still good to them and they had two sons with the names Cain and Abel. Can you say it with me? Cain and Abel. Each of the brothers brought to God a gift to say thank you and to show God they loved him. Abel brought the best of what he had, but Cain only brought something small and didn't do any hard work. God was surely much more excited about Abel's gift because his heart was right by wanting to give God the best. Cain was so very angry. He was angry at God and at his brother. How, how do you look when you're angry? Let's show each other. Well, Cain looked like he wanted to burst with anger. God then went to him and talk, to talk about it. God loves people and he wants to help them even when they are angry. But Cain didn't want to hear anything. He wanted to stay angry. He didn't want to do any of those things you just heard and that you've drawn. Oh, if only he spoke to God and shared his heart, he could have told God that his heart was sore because he felt less important or that he was very jealous because he actually wanted God's attention. But Cain doesn't talk to God or to anyone else. He doesn't count to 10. He doesn't take time and exercise, nothing. He just gets angrier. And do you know what? Cain then did a terrible thing. He killed his brother. That is terrible. It makes everyone so sad and he gets into so much trouble. Cain is an example of how your anger can land you in big trouble if you don't handle it the right way. God wasn't angry because Cain was angry. It is okay to be angry. What you do with your anger is what it is about. It was what Cain did that made God's heart ache. You can learn to not do wrong things when you are angry. Let your parents or grandparents help you a bit more with that so you don't get into trouble. And remember, God always listens to you. Tell him when you are angry. He can and will help you. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. La 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 Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. La 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 Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so, the Bible tells me so. Hello, Ingrid Corsbert Song. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a legend, Ventus, and thank you, Bye, Empty.